Hey everyone, Credit Shifu here, and today we're going to be talking about the 5% bonus categories for the Chase Freedom for the next quarter, so for April, May, and June. And the categories uh, for each quarter are normally announced on the 15th of the month, immediately before that quarter starts. So these categories will actually be officially announced uh, on March 15th. However, uh, the categories for next quarter have already been leaked uh, by some Chase reps. When I say leaked, it's you know, probably not really that severe, probably doesn't really matter that much. But anyway, um, so various websites have been reporting uh, the three categories will be grocery, PayPal, and Chase Pay. I phoned up Chase and a customer service representative for the Freedom Card did confirm over the phone that that is true. Uh, it'll be grocery, uh, PayPal, and Chase Pay. So let's examine these categories. So first of all, for grocery, I think that's a really uh, useful category. Most people probably spend at least 100 bucks at grocery stores each week, whether it's Walmart, Trader Joe's, whatever. Um, I think with grocery spending alone, it shouldn't be that hard um, for most people to max out this category, unless you're the sort of person who, you know, lives in the city and uh, never cooks their own food, just gets takeout all the time. If that's the case, then you wanna have a look at the other two categories. Obviously, PayPal, which is the payment method used on the site eBay, the online auction site. Uh, it's also used on a variety of other sites as well, but eBay is by far the largest user of PayPal. Um, the eBay website, you know, it's not just auction items that are on there. There are also stores that have PayPal uh, pages and you can do buy it now, uh, just a set price for items. You can also buy gift cards on eBay. Uh, for stores that you know you're going to go to in the future, so like Walmart, you know, Best Buy, Home Depot, all those kind of stores, um, they their gift cards are sold on eBay, and often um, they're selling at a 10% discount or sometimes even a 20% discount. So you'll be uh, saving uh, and getting a discount on uh, the gift card itself, and you're earning. 5% back on the Chase Freedom, and often these gift card uh, dealers on PayPal, uh, excuse me, on eBay, are offering free shipping as well. Now the last category is Chase Pay. Uh, this is a payment system. In a way, it's kind of like Apple Pay, although you don't just touch your card to the uh, reader, you actually have to scan a QR code uh, on the screen uh, to do the payment. So I actually downloaded this app today, um, Chase Pay, here we go, that's sort of like the home screen of it, and then you just press pay down here, and it comes up with this um, QR code, it just takes one second, there we go, and then you can flip through the cards, at the bottom you can see Chase Freedom, uh, obviously you, you gotta make sure it's your Chase Freedom that is selected uh, in order to get the bonus category, uh, you can also use it with you know whatever other cards, I got the Sapphire Reserve Chase Debit card in there as well. Uh, you also have the option to pay with points on this, so to convert your points into uh, you know, money, uh, I assume at one cent per point. So it's not the most valuable redemption, but anyway, you do have the option of paying with points. Um, a big thing that people online have commented about Chase Pay is that some cashiers don't really understand how to use it. It's also not available at that many places. Um, so you can see here on the sort of homepage, it actually tells you um, it's available, you know, where nearby you can use it. You've got Best Buy, Starbucks, more coming soon. <laughs> so it's not actually that many places, of, and some of the places it's online only, it's not their actual stores you use on their website. Um, one person who I was reading an article uh, about it online said that he tried to pay with it at Starbucks and they didn't know, you know, what to do. They kept telling him to scan it in the uh, code reader for the Starbucks app. Same at Best Buy, uh, a guy didn't know what to do with it. The cashier kept telling him to put his, uh, to touch his uh, phone to the card reader when actually he had to scan it. So just be aware of that. Some cashiers don't really know how to use this uh, Chase Pay app. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. It's quite interesting. Uh, you've got a nice little dashboard and it also tells you the balances of your credit cards right there. It tells you where you can use it, last transaction, and there's also you know some tutorials on how to use it and stuff. Um, so guys, what do you think about these categories? I'm super excited about the grocery category. Um, also for that, if you've got used to using your Chase Freedom Card through a mobile wallet app, because in the first quarter of this year, it was 5% back on mobile wallet purchases, I asked the Chase representative on the phone, do we still get 5% back at grocery stores if we use the Chase Freedom through a mobile wallet app such as Apple Pay? And she said that you do, the merchant code will still go through uh, in the mobile wallet app. So don't be you know, worried about that. If you use Freedom through mobile wallet at a grocery store, you'll still get the 5% back. All right, guys, what do you think about these categories? Please leave your comments below. Let me know how you did maxing out your Chase Freedom categories in the first three months. Did you succeed? Always love to hear about people racking up loads of points. Subscribe if you're new, give this video a like, 
and we'll see you tomorrow with more credit card tips and tricks. Bye-bye. <laughs>